What's up guys, I'm back with another movie review. Today I'm talking about one from Dark Sky Films and it's called It Stains the Sands Red. Uh, this is a zombie movie, but unlike uh, most zombie movies recently, this one actually kind of feels fresh and creative, uh, you know, whereas most of them are kind of cheap cash-ins. The story revolves around Molly. Uh, she's a stripper out in the desert being pursued by a zombie. Things just have not been going well for her today. The guy she drove out into the desert with is dead. Uh, her phone's not working. She's on her period. She's having just a lot of problems. Uh, it's a zombie apocalypse, but apparently it's not a super big concern. Um, you know, the world is not in complete chaos. So she just needs to walk to a nearby airfield, uh, which is nearby, but not that nearby. It's quite a, quite a walk. Uh, but she's being pursued by this zombie. Now, he's a slow, shambling zombie. So she's able to keep ahead of him. And she first, she just like berates him and, you know, is just so pissed off at the whole situation. She uh, tries to get him off of her trail by taking out her tampon and, you know, playing fetch with him so that he'll eat the tampon and leave her alone, which is gross and a really interesting, funny way to handle, uh, you know, luring a zombie off of your trail. Uh, but as time passes, she begins to have like this weird relationship with him. Uh, she starts to confide in him and obviously he's just a zombie, so he's not really listening, but he does show signs that he's recognizing her as more than just you know food and so they have this just weird dynamic and the movie kind of becomes like what's going to happen to these two when she gets to the air when she gets to the airfield because you know he's a zombie so what's going to happen like that's pretty much the movie um this movie is really good i really liked it it sounds kind of weird because it's just a one woman being pursued by one zombie but it actually is really cool um the movie mainly works so well because of Brittany Allen, who plays uh, Molly. Her performance here is fantastic. She's so, like, charismatic and has such good screen presence. Um, even though her conversations with Smalls, who, which is the name she gave the zombie because of his small dick, um, they're one-sided conversations, but they're really funny. She has a really good comedic timing. She's just a, she's just a lot of fun to watch here. She plays it in a colorful way, but not, like, over the top. And she's able to bring like some dramatic elements to it as well when she needs to. Uh, like at one point they run into some other survivors and they end up not being such great people. She ends up getting raped and uh, you know she handles that really well. So it's not just like she's funny. She's actually a really good actress all the way around. And she definitely drives the movie and is the main like reason that it works so well. Um, as much as I like her as an actress, I saw her in Jigsaw lately, which was a complete waste of her talents. But here she's able to showcase what she can do. And she is really great. Um, the movie uh, has a very little nudity. There's like some side butt, and that's about it. Um, she is a stripper, but she never gets naked. Uh, there's some blood. It's a mix of CGI, which it's all low rent CGI when it happens. And there's also some pretty decent practical effects. So there's a decent amount of blood. Dialogue wise, this movie has some really great dialogue from Molly. She's just like a canon of humorous, you know, banter and, uh, you know, the way that she abuses Smalls is really funny. Um, I really liked the movie. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, definitely a, kind of a newer, you know, fresh take at least on zombies, which is something we don't get very often. Um, I really liked it. And I definitely, if you have any interest in horror movies or zombie movies or just like strong female characters that are like badass, Molly is definitely a badass. And her, the performance from uh, Brittany Allen is amazing here. Her performance alone is worth picking up the movie for, let alone the rest of the movie, which is also pretty good. Uh, that's my review of It Stains the Sands Red from Dark Sky Films. You get it pretty much anywhere where you can get movies. Um, I rented the Blu-ray from uh, the Redbox, but you can get it from Amazon or wherever. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, check out my website, markfusion.com. I got a full write-up on this on uh, It Stains the Sands Red, as well as hundreds of other horror cult exploitation, all kinds of movies, new ones every single day, seven days a week. Normally, like, multiple reviews a day. Uh, I'm also on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram if you want to follow me there. I'm also at Patreon if you want to support the uh, my site and this channel uh, above and beyond and get some exclusive content in the process. But the best way you can support me uh, is free and easy is hit that sub button, and that will allow me to keep making content. Uh, the more subs I get, the more time I can devote to this channel and to my site. So I would greatly appreciate that. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I definitely recommend you check out It Stains the Sands Red. Super fun movie. And uh, hopefully I'll see you soon.